I can also throw it and work it tip down like you see a jerkbait, a standard jerkbait presentation for us where the tip of the rod is close to the water and I'm banging downward on the rod. Lots and lots of slack line in that presentation. Also an excellent way to catch trout. Got him. Got one. Oh, huh? Oh, that's a giant, guys. Look out. Hey, Austin, who's your taxidermist? <laughs> Uh, he's wee little here. That's a tiny little trout. But I'll show you this. Let me get him unhooked real quick and then I'll show him to you here. But I wanted to show and point out that that size fish ate that size plug. Brown trout are predators big time. That fish was literally not even twice as long as that plug right there. Why does that matter? Because it gives me drawing power. If even the little ones will chase it down, you know a big one will. The consistency of which all of these baits run, unlike balsa baits, is another key thing about these. Balsa baits, when I used to buy balsa baits, which I don't buy balsa lures hardly at all, if ever anymore, because they're very inconsistent, I would have to walk in Sportsman's Warehouse and buy three or four of them to get one that would run right because manufacturers don't get them as consistent as they can be. The beauty of a hit stick is I know it's going to run right right out of the package for one because they're all exactly the same. For two, they're way more durable. There is no foil finish on here. So when I cast it and I make an errant cast and I don't care who you are, eventually you're gonna be in a rock with it or something, you're not gonna damage the finish on this so much that it's going to hurt the action of the bait. So yeah, I could scratch the paint, um, but it's not gonna fill up with water or soak up water like a balsam bait will and tear itself up. So they're also extremely durable, which is another reason the hit stick is good because trout and rocks go together hand in hand. If you've done very much trout fishing, you know that there's a lot of rocks in the river and a durable bait is important from that standpoint as well. All right, guys, there we go. So Laramie River with the brand new hit stick and I'll hold that thing tight and uh, we're off. he came off. All right, perfect. Yeah. I got him. We'll put him down in the water for a minute and I'll set this Veritas down. There's a little hit stick right there, guys. And uh, you can see it's got little weights on the bottom. It's a plastic bait that's made to fish like a balsa bait. And, uh, and if you guys are fans of Fishful Thinker, you know we've thrown a lot of balsa baits over the years and there is a perfect, perfect easy bit, everybody. <laughs> A perfect little brownie right there. Ooh la la, I like this guy. Helps you, buddy, yeah. The larger hit stick like this, an excellent bait for trolling, excellent bait for casting in open water for big trout. So if I'm gonna go to North Park or, or some place that maybe has great big trout along with other fish, like Spinney Reservoir in Colorado, which got pike, now I'll probably throw this, because for one, I'm not gonna go to that fishery unless I'm looking for big trout. And two, I know if I get it in front of a pike, he's gonna bite it, and I'll probably have a good shot at landing him because I'm not going to be fishing with steel leader if I'm gonna catch for trout. If I throw the little tiny one there, then I may have some issues with bite offs from, from pike getting the whole thing in their mouth. But I will throw the 13 size hit stick a lot in places that have bigger trout. But this show is about ease and consistency, so to keep it as consistent and simple as possible, get a number nine and a number 11 and get them in gold or chrome and you'll be in the ballpark. Now they make them in trout colors as well. And I will gravitate to one of these in the event that I have stain in the water. So I've got a brown trout kind of colored one and a rainbow trout kind of colored one. Also excellent colors. For me, I like to keep things simple. So get a gold chrome and a regular chrome, you know, a silver chrome, and you'll do just fine. 99% of the scenarios out there. So keep it as simple as you can that way. When it comes to fishing a hit stick, uh, for me, it's always on braid. It's on a braided line of some sort. Uh, my typical trout situation is gonna be somewhere around eight pound test. And, and these days I'm throwing Berkley X9 braid almost all the time on spinning tackle. Uh, works fantastic in eight pound test, perfect for trout. Eight or 10 pound test, either one. You can cast even the small lightweight hit stick a long ways. Um, excellent feel, uh, you know, excellent durability. There's just a lot of reasons why the braided line is really, really good. I will tip it with a short fluorocarbon leader like we've talked about. And you can see there's a little piece of fluorocarbon still on this one, but a leader for me is gonna be about that long and that's it. Like maybe a foot, a little more, a little less. The reason is, only reason I want that leader on there is to keep these hooks from grabbing the braided line. So the braided line is very, very supple. And if I cast and this tumbles in the air, 
it's going to catch that braid and tangle up. Or if I'm working the lure very aggressively uh, and where it's really spinning hard in the water side to side, which is a great way to get fish to bite, also a good way to get your line tangled in your hook. So a short, stiff fluorocarbon leader works really, really good. And if you want to keep the bait higher in the water column, then use a nylon monofilament leader because it will float. And I have found the line shy is not an issue. So my leaders in 99% of the cases for trout are gonna be, on, for something like a hit stick, is gonna be like 10 pound test. And a lot of people are gonna say, oh, it's, that's so heavy, it's so heavy. First of all, I'm fishing for decent sized trout for one. For two, the stiffness of it is does a great job of keeping off the trebles a little bit better. And again, I haven't found a negative to it. And the only time I want a smaller leader than that in terms of pound test is on a very small bait, uh, maybe a number of three or a five, at which point I would go down to a six pound test leader or something like that. But day in and day out, an eight or a 10 pound leader, maybe even 12, is not a problem. I'm got that one, big one. Nice. There we go. There we go, and he missed it a minute ago, guys. I, he's either big or maybe I slightly foul hooked him, I don't know. He felt big when I first hooked him. Now he's coming this way in a hurry now. Here he comes, oh, Scoot. it is a nice one. All right, nicely done, Austin Parr. We'll keep him in the water for a minute, and I'll get him unhooked. He's actually already unhooked in the net. Let me give myself some slack here. There you go, guys. That little hit stick is paying the bills in a hurry right now. Beautiful fish. Look at that thing, guys. That is a good looking brown trout. My goodness, yes. I'll Absolutely let you hold fantastic. that so it doesn't drift away. And we'll give these guys a quick look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. That, guys, is a pretty one. Look here. That, I love these guys, dude. The colors and the reds and the, you know, a little bit white on the back fin here on the anal fin. And what a gorgeous fish. We're getting put back. Watch this too. Because we land them quick, gone. So when it comes to fishing, actually fishing the hit stick, I already told you that I like a light or medium light or medium power rod, depending on the size of the hit stick. If you're picking one, get a medium light, best all around trout rod, in my personal opinion. As far as power goes, I like them on six and a half to seven foot rods, not too long, but not too short. I wanna be able to throw a long ways across the river, but maintain accuracy. Uh, also for steerability of the bait and also for fish fighting, the longer rods are land you a higher percentage of fish. So I like to be somewhere around six and a half to seven foot long as far as the rod goes. The one thing I'll throw out there is again, I'm trying to keep this as simple as I can, but I would like to see a fast or extra fast even action rod. And if you're buying just one for trout, get a fast rod. So in other words, where along the blank does it bend? I don't want a real soft noodly rod and a lot of people do and that works fine for certain scenarios where you're lobbing bait. But to make this bait, make the uh, lure respond better and to be able to throw it more accurately, a fast action rod will do it. So a medium light power and a fast action rod is a great choice for this size of a hit stick right here. And if you get up in the bigger sizes of hit sticks, you're gonna need to step your power of your rod up a little bit, but that's totally understandable. But for the two I told you, a medium light will be just fine, a number nine or a number 11. Nice, that'll Thank work. Yeah. So the little hit stick. So here's the, here's the scenario real quick. I'll give you guys a quick rundown. I've got an eight pound trying 100% fluorocarbon leader that's about four feet long. And I've got eight pound Berkeley X9 braid on here as well. Um, the whole system's just a very subtle as far as that goes. I've got a Revo STX to hold plenty of it, a size 30, and then a medium light Veritas, seven foot medium light Abu Garcia Veritas. So the whole package, real simple, great way to catch trout. And this bait's brand new for the market for 2020. And uh, you know, so far it's been paying the bills. Smallmouth, walleyes, and trout all love it. So, the, the, you know, to sum up the hit stick real quick, we're gonna move on. A number nine and number 11 gold chrome or silver chrome. If you don't want the treble, swap them for two single hooks, not a problem. Eight pound braided line, eight or 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, about a foot long, medium light power rod, fast action, and work your angles. You'll catch all kinds of fish. In still water situations, all bets are off. Work every angle, every size, different retrieves. At the end of the day, I can always get some of them to bite.